The crisis in Cuba, where protests erupted overnight after continued power blackouts. The communist government also cut off the internet to part of the island. Local 10's Hatsavela explains why last night's protests could be a sign of bigger things to come. The video you're about to see certainly shows that once again, some Cubans on the island are willing to take to the streets and demand more of their government. Using pots and pans to show frustration from Cuba, the images are dark because they're protesting ongoing power outages. It reportedly happened late Thursday night in the small town of Los Palacios, outside Pinal del Rio, on the western side of the island. Cuba's in the midst of its worst economic crisis in 30 years. UN professor and Cuba expert Michael Bustamante says the pandemic exacerbated an already fragile economy. You know, that combined with you know, aging infrastructure, especially in the electricity sector, is, you know, creating what we're seeing. This protest certainly different in scale to the widespread historic protests we saw in July of 2021. But the demands are similar, despite the heavy handed reaction we saw from the government following the July 11th protests. Looks like Cubans on the island are not scared to take to the streets. Folks feel like they have nothing to lose um, when things are as are as dire as they seem to be. From the town of Los Palacios, the president of the local assembly on behalf of the government posted this video where he tried to clarify the power issues and downplays the protest. I think Cuba is very close to being a failed state. Retired UN professor and Cuba expert Andy Gomez says the only thing holding it together is a united military behind Raul Castro, who's now in his 90s. Of course, it all comes full circle and affects us right here in South Florida because of that mass migration we have seen in the past year or so. In fact, since last October, 140,000 Cubans have crossed the southern border. Reporting from Little Havana, I'm Hatsa Vela, Local 10 News. Hatsa, thank you. And for much more on this developing story, go right now to Local10.com. And for extensive coverage in Spanish, go to Local10.com in Espanol. It's easy to remember. Just log on to Local10.com forward slash Espanol and you'll find complete coverage there.